Hello ladies, gentlemen, and otherwise. I'm Lamar Haven. Welcome back to Fantasy Star 4. So I've more or less recovered from the issue that caused my last recordings to fail. Downside, this meant that a week of Fantasy Star 4 videos didn't get posted. Upside, I actually know what I'm doing now! In theory. <laughs> let's let's get that out of the way. In theory, I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> anyway, we have to go and find out what the heck is causing this blizzard. I mean, we kicked Dark Force's ass. A lot. So, what's going on? Well, now we have the Ice Digger. Boom. We now have a new vehicle, and we can explore more areas. So we're going to be heading to a new city. The Ice Digger has two attacks, the Napalm and the End Sphere. Napalm? That's exactly what it looks like. AoE fire attack. And those machines like to shoot you with lasers. So I'm going to go ahead and just use Napalm again, and it should clear out the entire group. Thankfully, the health of your vehicle recovers in between fights. Because, ow. Wow, uh, this music has more to it than I always thought. I always clear out the vehicle sections a little too quickly, so I don't get to hear all the music. So let's go this way. Boom. See, any of this ice that looks like this, you can just barrel on through. Now, there is a place we can go to the northwest. It is a small side quest. I'm going to say no to that for now. And there's a reason for that. But we're going to go into here. To the town of Zosa. So, in this town, they have these! Chirp! Oh, it's so cute! Rune, do you think it's cute? Not really. Yep! Giant penguins! Everywhere! It's like I'm back home in Alaska. Hey, I may be the Californian hippie, but I was born somewhere else. Alright, so we're here at the armor store, and we want to get something for Raja, the Fentarobe. So we buy that, but there's nothing else we need. Now we go across, and we are going to buy a flame sword for Chaz. It's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's a sword that uses the flame element, as you can see, Flay, Flea. And then we have Thunderclaw, which uses Tandle. Only buy one of these, and there's a reason for that. But you only want one. Um, then you have the Torn Dagger, which has Hewn Magic, and the Dream Rod, which is Bindwa, which I'm pretty sure is Stop. Anyway, uh, let's get out of that, and now let's equip what we have. The Flame Sword is a 15-point upgrade and defensive power upgrade, plus it's an elemental weapon. And then the Thunder Claw goes on Rika, and then for Raja, the Fanta Robe. Alright, so let's head out. Now there's one other important thing you can do here. I said look at the sign. <laughs> Make the Desolus, uh, Desolus Penguin a part of your group for today. The Desolus Penguin will walk around town with you. The dreamlike experience is yours for only 500 meseta. Of course you'll try it, won't you? Of course I will! Well then enjoy! Be careful because the Penguin will leave if you exit town or go inside a house. Wait, what? But, but, I want to go everywhere with this Penguin. It is my new best friend. Come here, Penguin. I love you, Penguin. No, no, no. Wait, come back here. No, wait. I just let me love you. Fine. Hmm. And then once you leave town, no more Penguin. And your hopes and dreams are all destroyed. Um. Anyway, so we are going to go out and about. We're going to use our ice digger and travel this way. Once you head east, go southeast a bit, run away from enemies that are pointless, and head into here. Rachel. That's an odd music for a town. Oh dear! Zombies! Zombies everywhere! Kill the zombies. So yeah, you have a town full of zombies here. Um, they're probably not Parmanians, they're probably Desolusians. Uh, and boom. You murdered them all, they give you very little experience and almost no Mesetta. Um, so this town is just a ruined town. You go up in it and there's nothing to find. It's just, like, holy shit. Zombies. So, get back into your ice digger after you leave. Um, and you're going to want to go... This way. Oh dear god. In sphere. It's time to show it off. Ow. Boom. In sphere. And everything dies. That's what it does. 
So, if you leave and to go to the northeast, you'll run into more of these enemies. And you'll end spear them, and they'll die, and you'll be happy forever. Yep. Alright, so if we keep going... No, we don't want to go there yet! That's a spoiler! Ah, uh, darn it. I told you! In theory, I know what I'm doing! So I may have gotten the direction slightly wrong. You want to go up here? Because over here is the Climate Center. Now, of course, you get ambushed immediately. <laughs> there, yeah, they decided to put two things into the game, one right after another, that caused you to be at areas where you get ambushed the first step you get into them, and by bosses. Well, this one is by a boss. But you might notice by the name, and look, we fought him before. So he's not exactly a threat. Just unload with some basic single targeting attacks. Oh right, well he does nothing. Which means Chaz will do nothing. Waste of a crosscut, basically. Oh well. But yeah, he hasn't gotten any stronger, so don't worry. In fact, at this point, I'll just go ahead and use Giwat for laughs. Just go ahead and attack. Boom. Huh, that should have done it. So he only has like 800 health, too. I should have killed him already. Oh well, basic attacks. He should be super dead now. I said he should be super dead now! God bloody darn it. Trying not to waste resources on you. Be nice. Ugh. You waste of space. Get out of my way. Yeah, he's resistant to like all the like right around this time you start getting a lot of fire attacks. Like Ren has fire based, Chaz has fire based, and that sort of thing. So they put him in the way who's resistant to them. Fantastic. Okay, maybe he has more health than the guide said. Because I don't remember, but I don't remember him taking this long. Maybe I should just actually put effort into this. I suppose. We'll use a SAR, just in case. He wants what's gonna do the most damage, because he's weak against it, so... Double slash to death! Huh, I have severely underestimated this guy. He rests on Chaz. Dun dun! And of course, Raja goes last, so his heal doesn't go off. There we go. This seems to be the control system for the Desilusian climate. The monsters are making a nest. As we suspect, yeah, as we suspected, this must be the cause of abnormal weather. Let's investigate. It's no use. I've been telling you, the cause of the snowstorm lies in the Garbert Tower. All right. So have Raja heal Chaz up as we ignore. Roger's claims, and we head on in. Now you're gonna want to go around this bit and head off this way, I think. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate these arthropods nice and quick because they did deal Chaz quite a bit of damage. And there they go. Almost as much health as the mini boss. Yeah. Let me use rest on Jazz. Pulse Vulcan. It is a weapon for Ren, but it is significantly weaker. I'm pretty sure it's one of those hit every enemy type of things. I think I'll go ahead and equip it just to make sure. And test it out for myself, because, uh-oh, lots of enemies. Dune. See, attack, and he didn't target anything? Yeah, definitely hits all enemies. Ow. Boop, boop, boop. Very cool. Of course, it's gonna be overkill with Hune. 
And Rika and Rune need healing now. Oop. Accidentally healed Chaz. Oh well, it happened. Okay, so now we have some wire deans or wire dines, whatever you prefer. I'm sure they don't mind. Play, attack, defend. Boom. Alright, and now Raj needs to heal himself. It is a constant, constant uh, cycle of pain and suffering. Oh, there was one thing I've always wanted to talk about, but I never have, ever since starting this. Now, there is, it is very, very common in video games for you to have a boss at the end. Or, say, a robot master, or say, just an enemy, let's just say. That is bigger than the rest, is more powerful than the rest, and is usually at the end of whatever section you're doing. We and I just use the word boss to describe it. When I use the word boss, you all immediately recognize it. Did anybody not use the word boss as a kid? When I was a kid, and keep in mind, this was back when internet conversations and stuff didn't happen at times. I didn't even know what most uh, genres of games were called. I didn't know that this, for instance, was an RPG. I always had to describe the game when I was like, oh, these are my favorite type of games. I was like, oh, the kind with hit points and magic points and uh, magic and that kind of thing. I always have to describe them like that. Well, I never actually called bosses bosses. I called them guardians, which I thought was a better name. Boss always struck me as, uh, it, it didn't really strike me as important or as big sounding, I guess, as guardian. So, but then at the same time, over time, we've come to see boss as, like, a, uh... I'm, I'm not trying to say negative because, obviously, we have bosses at work. And they don't necessarily have to be negative. But, I mean, in the context of video games, boss sounds more negative than Guardian does. Guardian sounds more like we're assaulting something and it's trying to protect it. Boss sounds like it's trying to come and kill us. You know? So I guess that's one reason why Guardian didn't catch on. But my friends... Uh, back in the day, he started using uh, Guardian, and I caught on to it because I was younger than him, and that's what we tend to do. <laughs> we tend to get names from uh, people we respect and stuff when we're that are older than us. But yeah, so I, for the longest time, I didn't call things bosses. I called them guardians, and that was, and it never struck me as weird for the longest time until I finally switched it over to boss when I started getting more involved with uh, conversations with other gamers. And as I got in conversations with other gamers, it started to become more and more apparent, oh, they use different words than I do. I should probably start using the words they're using because I don't really care as much. So I've not heard, but I've never ever ever, outside of the context of my own experience with my friends back then, heard the word guardian used to describe a boss character. And I was just kind of wondering if anybody else had experienced something similar to that. Like, you had a word or phrase that you used to describe something that's more Carmen parlance now uh, that nowadays isn't ever used. Like, maybe you call uh, called your party something else. Maybe it was a team or something like that. I'd really love to hear if you guys did do something like that because I don't want to feel like a freak. <laughs> 5,000 that's in that chest. Alright, so I need to heal Rune. All the way. Should have used Gyrus. Oh well. Now, if you go down here and into this. I was gonna talk about going into that room, but first, uh, Rune nuke healing. And then Chaz gained a level and has learned Reaver. So now we have another person who with the tech that allows them to revive people. So we currently have three. So, composite gear. That is for, uh, oops. Let me go to skill. It's for Ren. It is a helmet, so it only increases its defense by two. Not much, but better than nothing. So if you leave, go out, and you head into here, then you head over here, and across, and up. Very simple, very straightforward. This place ain't exactly a maze. Mm. 
heal it up. Then you head up here, and there's going to be a chest to our right. Right there. Exactly like I called it. A repair kit. I don't remember if there's a place to buy repair kits. I think there should be eventually. Anyway, you head into here. And the entire rest of this dungeon is simply following the path. So, there's no other... There's only one other chest. And in that chest, which we will find right over here... Armor for Ren. Ren. Composite armor. Whopping 10 point boost. So we're good. Okay, okay, and after more battles interrupting everything. Ah, 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 you dolt. How foolhardy you are to come here. Morons, this was just a trap. It seems like a waste to dirty our hands with stupid people like you, but being just a vessel that takes orders, I'll just have to do it. Wait, you said orders? But we've beaten Zio. And Dark Force. Whose orders are you acting on? You defeated him, the Great Dark Force. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh, ridiculous. Uh oh. Sounds like we might have more be in for more trouble than we thought. Here's DM Lars, the actual guy who's 800 health, not the guy I fought before. That's why he was taking so long. <laughs> All right. Uh. I'm not going to go ahead with buffs, because this guy, like I said, 800 health. Not foy his ass. And go ahead with Blessing, just in case. Yes, use Giwat on the guy who's most resistant to it. I'll nuke you from orbit. You might be able to tell I'm not very worried about this guy, so... And there he goes. Blast! This bothers me! It was talking like that creep Dark Force is still alive. Yeah. Chaz, there's nothing wrong with the climate control system. So it really was a snare. See? Just like I said, we have to go to the Garbert Tower! Climate control system is functioning normally. Are you seeing something else causing the abnormalities in Desilus? Eh, looks like our work is cut out for us after all. Hine us on out of here. Then we could Ryuka our way to Zosa. Not Rochelle, because... Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and rest here at the inn. Because we are a little hurt. And then we're going to continue our search. Something is wrong, definitely. Alright, grab the ice digger and head out. So if you go... Back to Zosa, which yes, you could have teleported. And you go here, and now we are going to go on... To here. Welcome to the town of Mies. Oops. Hey. This is the town of Mies. There's a strange illness going around, and we're in a terrible state. <laughs> Alright, so. Spoiler warning. Things are about to happen. Go to your equipment. Unequip Raja. There you go. And I'm gonna go ahead and check if Rune can use some of this stuff. He can. Alright. So you're gonna want to go to the armor and weapons store. Because we have things to buy. Armor store. You have reflect mails and reflect shield. We want two reflect mails. Obviously we don't have enough, so we have to start selling some equipment. So you go to equip, and I'm gonna go ahead and give it to Chaz. And then, sell. We're going to sell ourselves 
at this point, if you have monomates, sell them, because they're not going to be useful. Diamates at the very least. So, ceramic gear. Space armor. Plasma rifle. Silver mantle. Plasma sword. Plasma claw. Napalm shot we're going to keep. Zirconium gear we're going to sell. And then zirconium armor is going to sell. Silver circlet. Silver rod. Silver mantle. And silver mail. All going away. Whoops, I meant buy. Buy. Reflect mail. And we're going to give that to Rika. Alright, so we're set. So, this town looks like it has some places that are boarded up. So zombies are supposed to fear fire, right? So they won't come attack us if we make fire right in the middle of town like this, right? It seems that they're worried about the zombie plague going on nearby. The owner of this equipment store has been stricken by the illness in his closed shop. He used to sell a strange smelling perfume with something called something or other. Huh, I wonder if that's important. There's a strange illness going around. You get really high fever and usually die within a month. Holy crap, you get sick for a month? On top of that, the dead bodies revive the zombies! It's very scary. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine a zombie apocalypse would be. This is the patient admission area. There used to be an inn, but the innkeepers made it a public clinic out of the goodness of his heart. Oh wow, what a nice guy! Uh, who are you? We're the espers that you all have been talking about. We've come from the Esper Mansion, southeast of here. Espers? Like, magic users or something? There are many more who, uh, who have power like us in the Esper Mansion. Wow, it's amazing! There are people with, like, magical abilities. I'm the innkeeper. To tell the truth, I didn't want our place to be used, but... With all these empty rooms, the townspeople would have looked at me reproachfully. How upsetting. Darn. Ah, so it wasn't exactly out of the goodness of your heart. You were guilted into it. <laughs> Alright, well, it looks like there's a lot of sick people here. But we kind of need some information. Where'd the other shift? Alright. This strange illness broke out right after the Garbert Tower appeared. See? Just as I told you. That tower must be the cause. Uh, Raja? Raja, quit joking around. Chaz is no joke. He has a tremendous fever. Quickly, we must carry him to bed. Raja? No! Even Raja has fallen sick. He'll die if we leave him like this. <laughs> I don't believe it. This isn't any laughing matter, Chaz. I'm sorry. And I think Chaz is getting flashbacks, and so am I. Rika, you're aware of it too, aren't you? Rune. I've sensed it ever since we came to Desolus, but it feels particularly strong here. Yes. What is it? What are you two talking about? Chaz, listen carefully. This feeling is the black energy wave. The black... It's probably coming from the Garbrook Tower. So some, what killed Alice is starting to kill everybody else here. But more slowly. Maybe Alice taking a direct hit caused it to be accelerated in her. And it's pretty close. Darn! Help, help! Kira! Kira is headed for the Garbrook Tower by herself! Kira? She's a girl of exceptional courage from a group. Exceptional stupidity? Why'd she go towards the, the, the Garbrook Tower alone? But this is too reckless. There's a forest of carnivorous trees surrounding the tower. Uh, back up. How come no one told us about the carnivorous trees thing? I, I understand zombie apocalypse, but carnivorous trees would at least be second on the list of things to tell somebody. Chaz. Right. We can't let her go alone. Where's this forest? It's northeast of town. Okay, let's go. I hate it when that happens. Alright, so something very dramatic has just happened. First of all, Raja passing out from the black energy wave ener uh, that's going on across the town, entire town, apparently. Possibly even causing the zombie apocalypse. And now we have this girl named Kira, who's from the Aspers, who just went straight into a pack of carnivorous trees and is trying to stop it. Can we do anything to help? Find out next time. <laughs>